Yeah, sure. I mean, I uh, get a lot of bad press in the papers and things like that, saying, like, I come across really dull and boring in press conferences. But, I mean, that's just the guy you've got to be on the cameras. As soon as I get Kim, like, alone in the bedroom, I just fucking nail, nail her arse to the wall. I'm talking, she's... People are coming and chapping the door to make sure everything's all right. She's fucking ripped wide open like a packet of crisps. I've got right in about her like a fucking Warburton's loaf. Got the outsider out the way and then just fucking made myself an Andy Murray sandwich, eh? Right up her. And Kim's wild. She just lies there and fucking thrashes about like a shark in a fucking two millimeter puddle. Desperate for life. Except it's Sandy Murray's length she wants, eh? Instead of anything else. She just lies there and loves it. And then she wants me to shout about my new balls. The tennis bank there, but I just batter them off her back passage and she squeals like a fucking pig. She's filthy. I'll probably get that from my mum. I used to hear her getting hammered off my dad all the time as well until they fell out, but hey. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've come in for Shell a little bit more today.